Hello everyone this is Mukundan Raghavan and this video we are going to see the retry mechanism for the flaky test cases in play right perspective we are so lucky which means we have the default mechanism for the retry mechanism however trying to understand the retry mechanism is very essential and crucial for making these changes first of all retry mechanism is something different when compared to the normal coding why because the retry mechanism happens at run time which means that when you run the test cases if the test cases fails at run time then we need to apply the retry unlike play right if you go for other frameworks we need to write our own logic but in case of play right you can just change the configuration in the play right configuration file it will be doing the play right retry mechanism the numbers of time that we mentioned in the configuration what is flaky test cases flaky test cases are something fails when you execute due to the different reasons such as network issues or let's say data dependency moreover we are doing the parallel testing for example for the same record has been tested or worked upon by the other threads or other workers so even there are a lot of reasons where our test cases are becoming flaky flaky means it will work for once it may not work for other time or vice versa but this video will be very short because applying the retry mechanism in play rate will be very simple let's see how to do that go to your vs code and go to your play rate config.ts same like other configuration test directory and fully parallel and so on you will be having one configuration called a retries it will apply the retries the number of times you will just want to apply the retry for example let's imagine you have the test case go to the login test and it will be the simple login test however i purposefully made the problem in the password field i have changed the locator basically it will try to find that but it could not because it is a wrong locator with that it will try to do for the first time if you don't mention the retry it will fail for the first time itself and it will give the output as a failed test but if you make the configuration like a retry three times except the first time it will again try for three more times in this any one of the attempt if it passes it will make the test case as the flaky test case still it will pass the test case if fails in all the three attempts that mean it will be going to the failed attempt so here you can see so this is a simple test and i have made already changes to make it fail and the terminal command will be npx play rate test and the test spec name and iphone iphone header even sometime you can write your own retries here something like this iphan iphan retries too that means that even you can control the number of retries from the terminal itself let's try with two retries in the console also you can see the number of retries will be shown here retry two that's all it's completed if i go to the report here you can see there are multiple tabs run the first run default run then retry one and retry two in case if it passes in retry one it will be added into the flaky test cases so that you will be knowing that these test cases are flaky because of some reason you can focus on that later but if all the retries fail you will see everything inside the failed one only and here you can see retry one and retry two so this is the beauty in the play rate so in play rate we don't need to do any fancy coding directly go to the configuration and make the retries count as as many numbers you want and just start with the retry mechanism and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud